At the threshold, in a time of not remembering, summer yields to fall, winter to spring, the fires burn. Surrendering to this world of dust and matter, I am home. The project encompasses two books. One is an art photography book that was published in Germany by Kerher Verlag, and there are 40 images in it with some poetry and some essays. And the other book, that's a limited edition, artist-made book that has nine images and an encaustic piece in it. They are photographs that I took over a period of seven years. And it started with my being at an artist residency at the Ragdale Foundation in Lake Forest, Illinois. And while I was there and taking a walk in the prairie, I noticed that they were doing a small controlled burn. Burns take place usually in the fall and the spring, and they try to burn out invasive species to make room for new growth. It's kind of like a cleansing. When I went out to see them, I asked them if I could follow them the following spring, and they said, sure. If I had really thought about what I was doing, I would have never been there because it's pretty frightening. To be so close to the fires and the heat, and you realize how powerful it is. At the same time that I started um, photographing the burn, uh, my sister had been diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and I had a new grandchild that was born. So, um, you know, life and death were very much prominent in my mind as I was going out to photograph. I didn't want to document the burn. I was more interested in the mystery of what the layers of smoke could give you. It's kind of this ephemeral place. I'm looking for the light and the luminosity and the mystery. Wind sigh in the bittersweet hour. Fires of crimson red rearrange the landscape into a starless carpet of charred remains. Suspended above clear dark waters, ashes take flight on the wings of possibility. When I started the collaboration with Teresa Pankritz, uh, I don't think either of us knew where it was going to go. We just started exploring, and what we came up with was kind of beyond my wildest dreams. It's not really a book. I would say it's more like an art object because each book has a, a unique encaustic piece, which is a photograph that's been covered in wax. I was using wax years ago in my artwork because I wanted to find real-time luminosity in my photographs. And then I started photographing the burn, and I found that the photographs of the burn really reflected what the beeswax did. There is a sense of unfolding. By using the Japanese papers, you kind of see and then you don't see, which is what happens when you're looking through the smoke and the burn. What I love about it is that there's this then unexpected surprise. It's like a jewel at the back of the book. It's kind of dazzling. I think that this whole life cycle of coming into the world and leaving the world, it's just part of nature. It's part of being human. This body of work is something that I'm really happy about sharing with other people because it has resonance for everybody. Mm -hmm.